when that tries to creep in and, and have its place and impact on your life, the Holy Spirit has this beautiful way, as you're sensitive to Him, of bubbling up the reality and the truth. That, yeah, that looks, I know what your eyes are seeing. And I understand how you're interpreting it with your mind, your human mind. But let me just give you the promise that you need to be walking on. Amen. While everything else looks like it might be flooding or overwhelming or, or crashing down on you, let me remind you of the promise of God. Let me remind you of the God of the promise because you need to first know that he's in charge and then you need to know that what he's in charge of, he will handle. He's faithful to his, his promises. And so now if I recognize that God's in charge and he's faithful to his promises, then no matter how turbulent my seas look, I've got a new different perspective on it. No matter how hard the wind is blowing and the storms are raging and the, and the seas are rising up, I, I've got a new different look on life because I recognize that God it didn't bring me here just to lead me here. Somehow his plan hasn't been fulfilled. If it's been fulfilled, then take me on home, Lord, I'm finished. But if there's still work to do, then Lord, you're going to see me through this moment that seems overwhelming. And Lord, if you have to just be overfit, then blow me down on the fence. If, Lord, you have to send me somebody to help me, then send me somebody to help me. Lord, if you have to get me out of town, then get me on out of town. But not till I finish preaching this word. I ain't going nowhere till I tell somebody about Jesus. And then they can run me out anytime they want to. And, Lord, give me an ability to look back over my life journey. I mean, this is ongoing. Give, give me an ongoing ability to, to have a retrospective look at life. Yes. And understand that somehow you have worked out all those things. Yes. I mean, all of those choices, moment by moment, yes. decision, free will choices that, mm. I, that, I, that I was making out there. You know, some of them looked like they were all right. Some of them looked pretty bad. But all of them, somehow, you worked out for your glory. And for good. Yes. So they led to this moment in time. So I can't be mad about the bad stuff, the, the ugly choices, or whatever it is that went on. I just have to say, Lord, somehow you had that all in your basket, and you were working that thing out and stirring it all up and making it come out to this point in time. And I, no matter what I did, you brought me to where I am today to do what you called me to do, Lord. And so if that's the case, then I ought to start rejoicing, and even in my difficulties, rejoicing, even in my confusion, rejoicing. Jesus. So 